So the year is 2050. You're driving to visit your friend who lives at the other end of the city. Or more likely, you're being driven by your car. It's fully automated, so all you have to do is relax and enjoy the ride. You get bored, so you decide to play a game and start counting delivery drones flying over you. 35, 36, 37... Ah, the traffic lights change to white, and you know exactly what to do. Yes, traffic lights of the future could have an extra color, white. This artificially intelligent light is supposed to make passing through intersections easier for self-driving vehicles, help traffic flow faster, and reduce fuel consumption. The green light will still mean go. The red light will still say stop. And the white light will be a signal for human drivers and passengers to follow the vehicles in front of them going through the intersection. The self-driven cars won't have to see the white traffic light. They will get data from it wirelessly within a certain range. The system will recommend an optimal speed and give priority to the road with more traffic on it. The white light will activate when there are enough self-driving cars approaching the intersection. The computer will then figure out the most efficient order for them to go or stop. And if this new type of traffic light is introduced before we completely switch to autonomous vehicles, there will still be old cars on the road. When they outnumber the self-driven ones at the intersection, the white light will switch off by itself. Running simulations of the new tech showed that the more self-driven cars there are on the road, the faster the traffic is going. We still don't have the tech to introduce the white light at every intersection. But researchers at North Carolina State University who are behind the idea believe it's possible. It would take money and time, but would also help save money and time in the long run. If you're impressed by the fourth color on the traffic light, imagine augmented reality right in your vehicle. Road signs and traffic alerts will pop up on your windshield like a sci-fi movie. There could also be custom notifications, apps, and entertainment. Looks like you'll never be bored on the highway again. And neither will your car, since it will communicate with others of its kind via a vehicle-to-vehicle or V2V system. Cars will exchange data on speed, location, and safety warnings to make the right driving decisions. Roadworks, although done for your own good and safety, can be pretty frustrating. Well, there might be no need for that with self-repairing roads. Researchers from several British universities have created a concrete blend with tiny capsules full of special bacteria. These capsules come from lakes near volcanoes and can survive for up to 200 years without oxygen and food. They activate their healing superpowers when they come in contact with water, which is the main cause of potholes. After feeding on water, the bacteria produce limestone, which seals up the imperfections on the roads. Tests have shown this brilliant idea actually works. Wow! When this tech goes global, it should reduce road maintenance costs by 50%. It's especially good news for motorists and cyclists, as potholes are a huge danger to them. Now, many highways already have cameras observing them from above, but drivers and self-driving vehicles need to get access to that data. In the not-so-distant future, sensors will be pretty much everywhere – in vehicles, buildings, traffic lights, and even the roads themselves. It's important because even some of the smartest cars may have a limited range of what they see. If they make decisions based on that data, it's no good. So a smart highway with sensors will come to the rescue. Imagine getting real-time information about all the potential obstacles and hazards on the road via fast cellular-based 5G networks. This tech should help minimize the number of road accidents. If an accident does happen on one of the smart highways, artificial intelligence will analyze the data on speed, lane positioning, and nearby vehicles to work out some patterns and algorithms to avoid similar accidents in the future. Since more and more people will use shared autonomous vehicles, the demand for parking spots should go down. And there will be parking lots for autonomous vehicles with electric charging stations and cleaning services. Such parking lots will fit more cars since they won't need elevators or staircases. The owners will just drop the cars off at the entrance. 
It also means the cars can be parked super tightly. People won't have to open the doors and climb out of the vehicle. Researchers believe that autonomous parking lots could fit 62 to 87 percent more cars than old school ones. The only problem is those drivers who won't want to pay for parking and send their self-driving cars cruising endlessly. This could cause robotic gridlocks. Talk about future world problems. Now, if you use public transportation, and it often makes you feel, well, a bit frustrated, you're going to love this one. Trains, buses, ferries, and whatever vehicles we might see in the future will no longer travel on fixed routes or schedules. The number of vehicles will depend on user demand. The idea here is to reduce waiting times and crowds. This system, called Demand Responsive Transport, or DRT for short, is already tested at different locations around the globe. It doesn't always go smoothly, but new tech is supposed to solve all the problems. Apps and mapping algorithms will help you book shuttle minibus rides from floating bus stops near your home and take you where you need to go. Do you sometimes wish you could have bought a different colored car? Well, the great news is that your vehicle might be able to change its looks in the future. BMW presented a concept car that can do just that at the 2023 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. The car will have 240 panels on it that can change into 32 different colors. You'll be able to choose to change all the panels to one color or set a shade for each panel, turning your car into a kaleidoscope on wheels. The car will also have a windshield with augmented reality, with all the necessary data on the trip and social media updates, which should soothe any FOMO issues. And your prospective vehicle will also express emotions using a combo of headlights and closed kidney grills. I guess if you take good care of it, it will smile all the time. You've definitely seen a flying car in at least one movie about the future, and that future is getting closer. Several companies have been working on it, and Aska is so far the closest to launching it. It's already taking pre-orders for a four-seater the size of an SUV that can take off vertically and cover distances up to 250 miles at the speed of up to 150 miles per hour. Its manufacturers promise that the flying car will have no problem blending into the city. It doesn't need a lot of space to land and take off and can be parked at regular parking lots. Its engine will use premium gas you can buy at regular gas stations. You'll also need to recharge its battery, either at home or at special charging stations. That beauty can be yours for just $789,000, by the way. Hyundai has its own unique Elevate concept car, which has both wheels and legs. This transformer moves like regular cars can. It can climb stairs to help someone in a wheelchair get inside, fit into a tight parking spot, or climb over obstacles. The bigger idea behind this concept is to give freedom and mobility to those people who don't have it. Elevate can also help in construction work and disaster relief. Just imagine what a great help it could be to rescue teams trying to access areas where usual cars wouldn't be able to pass, like debris or pieces of collapsed buildings. Ah, the future is alive! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.